Okay, so this is my uh, video on the winter version of the Fly House. Uh, we did this in 2018, 2019. This, we've had this running for a few years now and it's worked really well. Um, it's different from your uh, traditional cage netting setups because it is a hard structure uh, and because it's a hard structure, we have this really nice hood feature up here. And this part actually does come off. It's uh, a little bit heavy. It's a two person job, but we can take that off and it houses four uh, light bulbs in it. So in the center, uh, we have two heat lamps and they are controlled with a little thermostat in here. Um, so with the thermostat, I have it set. I'm not really sure what it's set to kick off at. Um, currently the temperature in there is, uh, it's 86, 49% humidity. In this room right now, it's 70 degrees, 59% humidity. So this works really well. Um, we had a very cold, cold snap last week. And uh, this didn't drop below 72, I don't think. Um, I did run residual, or like a, an auxiliary heat um, just to keep everything comfortable. And that worked really well to keep everything at like 70 degrees. So with the two heat lamps in the center here of the structure, I have two daylight light bulbs uh, on the outside. And those are controlled with this timer here. So it mimics as best as I can uh, natural sunrise and sunset. Um, and I think, I think I have that dialed in pretty good as well. Um, but you can see inside the structure, three doors, nice viewfinder window here. Uh, but you swing it open, there are lots of flies. And I had initially had this really nice and clean, um, but weather happens and I didn't film the video in time to have a really nice clean structure. So uh, this is what it looks like after a week's worth of flies. Um, so this is the interior of the fly hutch. Uh, we have several pre-pupa pre bins in here. I think I have 14, 13. Um, there are, I don't know how many flies in this. I don't, I've never felt the urge to count them. There are enough in here to um, sustain a really nice uh, weekly egg collection. So um, they mate, uh, they lay eggs, and uh, if I can find a pair here mating, not too many right now. There, this poor guy's on his back. Um, so these are sponges sitting on trays with some water. Flies like a little bit of water. Um, but not too much because it can drown. So I have to be very cognizant of that. Um, and above you can kind of see the heat lamps. There's a heat lamp there on the right and then daylight light bulb is there on the left. Right now I only have one heat lamp in here and it seems to be functioning really well. The temperature has been very comfortable for them. Uh, anything 80 degrees and above, you're gonna have really nice, successful fly mating. Uh, they also have to have the right daylight light bulbs, so I got that dialed in. Um, when we built this thing, I really wanted to make sure we had light that could bounce around, so we made sure to use the whiteboard, and that's also really easy to clean. So the other thing with like the soft net structures, you have to wash them 
periodically because you do get that yellow res residue that builds up. Um, it's just something that the flies uh, exude when, or excrete, I guess that's the word, when they uh, first emerge from their little pupatia, pupate husks. All right, so we have, this is a three piece hutch. The top part we have the hood with the lights. This is the active zone for the flies. And then down here uh, we have, I used to keep the uh, pre-pupa bins down here, but I think it works much better that they're up, up above. So this lifts up and this is where, this is the dark area. So this is where um, the flies will, the females will come down, lay their eggs. There are two food bins in here. I am currently feeding two small little, uh, they're tiny larva colonies there. And then in here, I have these bio balls um, that the females will lay their eggs in. And then I can collect eggs pretty regularly in these and then they wash up um, pretty easily too. It's a little tedious and I will upgrade this soonish probably, but right now it works. So the feed bins, they indicate to the female that there is a healthy colony nearby, um, lay eggs, and you will see the next generation through. So that's the incentive there. So I make sure that these two have food all the time, and I also swap them out pretty regularly too. And then the bottom layer we have just extra shelving. The whole unit is on wheels, it's pretty heavy, so um, putting the thing on casters makes it fairly easy to move around. Uh, but this has been my sole source of eggs and larvae for over a year now. So even in the summertime, I didn't use any outside structure because it's it's a lot of time to collect eggs, harvest, keep it clean, keep it organized. Um, a lot of outside elements can impact it too. This, I can control it much more steadily. So the temperature is easy to control. Uh, light's easy to control. It's just having this works really, really well. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's how I get through the winter. And um, even on a 20 degree day, it's nice and balmy in there. So flies have their little beach house. Mm -hmm.